men's basketball coach Jeff Jones announced Wednesday he's battling prostate cancer again. Coach Jones talked to reporters a short time ago. Ten on your sides, Maria Elena Beloris was there. Maria Elena, what does he want the community to know about all of this? Well, Coach Jones said today he is feeling great. He's known about the diagnosis for about the last year, and his team had no idea. So now they're just ready to focus on the season. When ODU basketball coach Jeff Jones got home Wednesday night, his dog greeted him with a bathroom accident. I took that was, uh, as, as a sign that, you know, uh, that, that it's business as usual, life goes on. And that's exactly what Coach Jones wants you to know. You know I'm, I'm going to go on and, and try to uh, you know, keep doing the stuff that I'm doing. There's no reason why I shouldn't. Jones was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2015. He had surgery and radiation, but last year it came back. Last night, he decided to share the news. I didn't want my players to hear from someone else. I didn't want friends to hear from someone else. Jones has been open with his diagnosis. Can we help somebody else? Working with the American Cancer Society to lobby lawmakers in D.C. What Coach Jones brings to the American Cancer Society really can't explain how important it was. Dr. Bruce Waldholt says Jones's platform has helped increase awareness and get more men tested. A lot of men enjoy sports, but they may not enjoy going to the doctor. Plus, it's gotten more money to researchers. To try to get the ball to the researchers who can take that shot for all of us to make a difference in research and really make a better future for everyone. And now, families that need help. And trying to raise funds for uh, families that uh, uh, you know, are, are dealing with cancer. As for how this will affect the team. I dare anybody to you know, come up with a way that it has negatively Im impacted uh, you know, me or our team or, or our program. It's business as usual. Coach Jones will head to D.C. at the end of the month with the American Cancer Society again, and we'll have information on wavy.com on the fundraiser that he and his wife have started. In Norfolk, I'm Marilana Beloris, 10 on your side.